I am with Beck from the Animal Keepers here at Kurumban Wildlife Sanctuary and I'll be talking about their work to help save koalas. So koalas must be one of Australia's most loved animals, so what do you love so much about koalas? I love koalas because they are an Australian icon. Um, they're really cute and cuddly, which is what I think most people like about them. Um, so they're basically like a real life teddy bear. <laughs> So what are some of uh, koala's adaptations for living up in the trees? Okay, so these guys, this is Baby, one of our older female koalas. So you can probably see on her front hand here, she actually has two thumbs. So that makes it uh, very easy for them to be able to grab um, onto branches. Yep. Um, they also have long claws. And they also have, if you can feel their bottom there, they have a bit of a bony plate in their bottom, so that makes it nice and comfy to sit in those real awkward forks of trees. All right. So koalas are pretty fussy eaters, so what uh, do they eat exactly? Okay, so koalas are the only species that exclusively eat eucalyptus. So, um, you know, there's lots of species of eucalyptus, but these guys are pretty fussy. They only like a select few. Yep. Um, and they pretty much only like the tip. So yeah. they're fussy upon fussy. So, um, <laughs> but that's where all the goodness is for them, yeah. all the nutrition. So tell me a bit about koala early life. Okay, so koalas are a marsupial, which means they give birth to really underdeveloped young. So they have a gestation period of about 35 days, so that's not very long at all. Um, and it's around that stage that they'll give birth to um, a joey, which is about the size of a jelly bean. They're really tiny. So what is threatening koalas and how endangered are they? Okay, so koalas are pretty threatened at the moment. Um, it really depends on, on what area to how threatened they are. Yep. Um, on the Gold Coast, they're in a lot of trouble and it's yes. mainly through um, a lot of development, mm. so habitat clearing. Um, so these guys are, are losing their home, they're losing their food, mm -hmm. um, and they're very susceptible to stress. So when these guys do get stressed, then they're susceptible to disease, which is where we find a lot of koalas come yeah. in that are quite sick um, because they've been so stressed and displaced. Yep. So what is Kurumban Wildlife Sanctuary doing to help save koalas? Okay, so Kurumban Wildlife Sanctuary, um, we have the koala, uh, sorry, the wildlife hospital. Yes. Um, so the wildlife hospital is a really important part um, of helping koalas mm -hmm. on the Gold Coast. So, um, you know, any koala that's hit by a car, attacked by a dog, yeah. or that comes in that's sick, that's got diseases, um, you know, we try and get them in, um, make them better, and then try and reintroduce them back into the wild. Yep. Um, um, and we have done research over the years and we've worked with some universities um, with some of our koalas and finding out some interesting facts about their reproduction and things like that as well. Yeah. So what can everyday people do to help save koalas? To help save koalas, I think it's important that you sort of get onto your local council um, and you make sure that if there's any areas that are going to be cleared soon, that you know if there's any petitions or anything going, that you make your voice heard, that you know you don't want those areas cleared. Um, and there's lots of organisations. Um, if you go to the Corumban Wildlife um, Sanctuary page, there should be some um, little links that you can go to to yep. some different organisations that you can donate, donate money. Um, so yeah, there's just a few things people can do. Um, yeah. Also planting some eucalyptus, native, if you've got a little bit of land, planting some native trees that koalas like to eat yeah. um, can also help these guys out as well. Well thank you and thank you as well. This is baby! <laughs> Hello. <laughs>